Hey guys, welcome to this video. Um, this video I'm going to show you how to create a kind of auto typer if you want to call it like that. So, it's actually, pretty, uh, it's actually pretty easy. So, I'm just going to show you how to do that in just a basic, of course. So, I'm just going to open up a Windows applications form and I'm going to call it auto typer and I'm going to press OK. Um, so, we'll have to let it load. Okay, so now we can close the start page. Close it and let's drag this up like that. Okay, so <clears throat> what I want to do is, uh, well, let's make it a little bit bigger. Um, adding a button and adding a text box. So I'm going to uh, click on the arrow in the text box and I'm going to press multi line. It's not that important, but I think it's handy for this tutorial. So I'm going to um, uh, I'm going to click on this button. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm just kind of strangely talking right now. So I'm going to change the text of the button to um, something like start. Um, oh, you cannot see that, but okay. Um, so it's just any properties. So. I'm also going to change the name to uh, let's say btn underscore start okay that's good enough so the properties for the text box is going to nearly be the same so I'm going to call this txt input and well <clears throat> let's do um, let's see if I can find them or maybe it's this recording thing in front of it um, so there was a uh, here scroll bar. So let's do uh, vertical. So now it looks like this. We you can change everything if you want to. Um, it's just in, in a tutorial, so well I don't have to. So I'm just going to drag another button. Um, I'm going to call this button, uh, or I'm going to change the name to stop. The name is of course going to be btn underscore stop. Okay. So the last thing I'm going to use or drag into my program is the timer. Well, you cannot see it right now because it's in. The, well, it's there as you can see. So I'm just going to um, change the name of the timer to uh, let's do tm underscore um, sync or something. Well, let's just do tm from timer. Uh, interval is just right or something. It doesn't actually, uh, doesn't actually matter that much. So, oh well, at least ah uh, well, let's make that five five thousand. No, just too long. Two thousand, so two seconds. So I'm going to double click on the start button so we can get the code, and I'm going to type in tm dot enabled equals true. Not that hard, of course. Stop is going to be, uh, of course, is going to be enabled equal. So tm underscore enabled enabled equals false <clears throat> so it's not that hard actually um, so now I'm going to into the I'm going into the timer um, so this is the sub of the timer um, so it's pretty easy to do that code or something but okay so I want um, like I'm going to type something in in this text field and I want that to be printed every um, two seconds, or well, it's actually depending on the interval of your timer. And for me, that is two seconds. So let's do, um, well, let's declare something like a variable. Uh, well, it's not need actually. Um, well, something is actually kind of uh, easy to do, or actually pretty good to do. Um, when you click on start, I'm going to type in TC input dot enabled equals false so you cannot edit it and then txt input dot enabled equals true um, because I wanna when I press it it will be uh, disabled but when I press it, when I leave this code when I comment this one out like that um, it will be disabled so I cannot when I press stop uh, it will stop actually the timer and everything but I cannot re-enter something in the text field so that's pretty important actually when you do this at least um, well I actually highly recommend it because if you um, this method I'm going to use is the send key and it means it will send keys 
like a kind of uh, it will emulate something like the keyboard inputs or whatever you want to call it so when you have this when you don't have this and you will select this tag box it's going to crash and I'm going to explain it right now because um, the source of the output text is in this field but when I select the fields it will also paste it in there and then the um, output text is this again so it's actually kind of getting larger and larger until your program is crashing very hard so um, one actually this is kind of uh, better to do is you will go to your property box and you will select um, topmost as true so you don't lose your focus of the form when it's enabled so it's kinda uh, damn when you are searching for something like it can go actually wrong or something when you are selecting something like star because it's going to enter all those strange signs and and your keyboard and stuff can get uh, can get weird and stuff. I had that a couple of times when it's yeah you know, when it was crashing. But okay, I'm not going to hold the code of you right now. So I'm just going to type. So it's actually pretty easy. So first I'm going to declare a string. So let's do input text as string equals to txt input dot text. Not that hard again. So then send keys dot send between those brackets actually type in input text um, okay so you don't have actually to do this but you in this way you can manipulate the input text so you can do something like replace um, like we don't want word damn in it for first super example something um, I want to replace with nothing so it will remove all oh, well Let's do something like this. Um, three, four. So, so let's check it out. This is pretty cool. So I'm going to start up note, Notepad. By the way, there's a Notepad plus plus. Just Google it. Um. Ah, well. See now when I oh, when I press this one, it's it's still this one's still on top because topmost equals string. So. Um, let's type something in like, well, let's fit this in, in the screen, of course. So I'm going to set this stuff up right now. Um, well, okay, so type, type something in like, hello, YouTube. Start. Okay, here you see, hello, YouTube, hello, YouTube, and then hello, YouTube. So when I stop it, it won't actually go further. So, if you want want to do that, okay. If you saw that, you see it's just all in the same line or something. So you can do this: send keys dot send cbcrlf. That is a kind of Visual Basic code for a enter. So when I try this again, hello you, oh, hello YouTube, oh YouTube, um. I'm going to start and I'm going to select this. Um, see now to jump to the next line and again, and again. So now it's kind of nice and something. So, well, how you, um, you have to uh, stay focused on the screen or on this uh, text area, otherwise it won't do anything actually. So there are more ways. Um, this is just a pretty quick way. So, um, thank well. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, or email me. Um, um, well, if you have some money over, please donate to me so I can purchase a uh, a kind of um, cool uh, web host. Um, so you can donate me via PayPal at gnbjbnk at gmail.com. So. Um, you can also email it uh, to it, of course. So, thanks for watching again, and I'll catch you later.